Hello, YouTube people. This is DeathEye131 here with a Minecraft tutorial on how to survive your first night in Minecraft. Now, this is the official Minecraft 1.0, which is just released this Friday, so I've been playing. And so, I'm going to start off a new world. It's going to be a tutorial world for you guys. It will be on survival. You'll just have a random seed, structures, dungeons, etc. on. So I will create the new world for you guys. Level, level, level. Um, I will be making the Minecraft series for in just showing you guys how to do certain stuff on Minecraft. Excuse my voice at the moment. I kind of have a sore throat, and so it's kind of crackly. And hopefully this. Okay, here we go. Okay, right by a cow. Okay, so this is Minecraft. Um, so in Minecraft, what you do is you can build or. Well, in Minecraft, you can basically do whatever you want. But you usually build, explore, fight. So, right now at the moment. Um, I'm sprinting now. How you sprint is just by double tapping W. And I guess I'm just looking for trees, and I think there are trees over here. I can't remember. Jump, 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 jump. So, <laughs> I don't really know what to say right now. Other than, let's get wood, and let's sprint, there we go. So, I will be showing you guys how to build stuff, traps, of that kind of sort, and just a bunch of different things. So you'll just have to watch to see. So, first off, I'm going to destroy this tree, and how you destroy the tree is just by holding your mouse button, the... I cannot talk right now. You want to hold the left mouse button down to destroy something. So that's what I'm doing now. Destroying the tree to get its wood. To make the wood into planks. And there we go. Okay, oh, and trees, when you destroy the... When you take the wood from the tree, then leaves will start degrading. And when they degrade, or when you punch them, they will drop uh, saplings, which I just picked that one up. I just try to get one here. Right there. See? Dropped a sapling. And then you pick that up. And what saplings do is you can plant them down and eventually they'll grow onto a tree. Okay, so anyway, with this wood, um, first thing we should do... Ooh, hey, look at this. The cave entrance, maybe? Or... This is an ideal little spot for a nice little hidey hole. Anyway, but with this wood that we have gathered, I am going to press... Ooh, I just found an NPC village on this server. On, not server, but on this world. That is nice, kind of. Um, this is kind of out of order, but I guess I will show you guys an NPC village. Um, that's pretty nice. But on our way there, ooh, sheep. Oh, with sheep, you when you kill them, they drop wool. And with that wool, if I can kill the sheep, and with that wool, you can make a bed. You do, well, I'll, I'll show you how to make a bed. And the reason why I, use, I, I, the reason why I use beds is not for sleeping through the night, but for setting your spawn, which, that's really nice. That way you don't always have to spawn wherever you originally first spawned it in Minecraft. There we go. Okay, and there. Now we will need one more piece of wool for making a bed. It's your lucky day. If only they would stop running away and only hide a sword. Lag, lag, lag. Okay, which one is it? Oh, God. 
for you. Up oh, there was him. Okay, good. I got three wool. Anyway, back on now with the now back to the P NPC village. Um, in Minecraft, NPC villages will spawn randomly, and I was lucky enough to get one apparently. And since this is 1.0 or 1.9, whichever you want to call it, the NPCs do have people in them. They don't do anything at the moment though, which that's kind of dumb. And more lag. Great. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait a second. Okay. Lagging. Really bad right now. Is that better? Okay. It's getting there. How you get to this little screen is by pressing F3 on your keyboard. And that's how you can look at that technical stuff. Not alone. So this is an NPC village. There's a few different houses. Like we just went into a library. Now I think this one's yeah, this one's a shop. Got like a little counter. Got the store owner right there. And more lag yay. It must be this NPC village or something, because it's not my computer. Okay, here we go. They always have a well, and careful, if you fall in the well, you won't be able to get out unless you have a pick. Well, you still will get out, but it will be a hassle. Anyway, um, besides the NPC village I found, let's... Now, on your keyboard, you press E, which brings you up to this, your inventory. Now, this is a crafting table, and with the crafting table, of course, you can craft things. So I'm gonna put my wood in here, and with one wood, one piece of wood is four planks, and I only need four at the moment. And so now with your four planks, what I'm gonna do is have one in each corner, so for four, and then I'll get a crafting table. And what a crafting table is is you get this three by three instead of this two by two. So now with my crafting table, I will. Oh, I will make some wooden planks. I won't use all my wood though. And then with these wooden planks, if you have one in the middle and one right under it, so it looks like that, you can have you can make sticks. And of course it doesn't have to be in this position. It could be over here, it could be up there, it could be really anywhere on here as long as there's one above each other. And then you'll make four sticks. And with the sticks you can well right now I'm gonna make a pickaxe. So how you make a pickaxe is one stick in the middle, one stick up below that, and three wooden planks across the top. And that way you get a wooden pickaxe. And by the way, in Minecraft, you basically draw, you basically have a rough image of what that object look like, looks like. So right here, here's the handle, and this pick part is right there. There you go. And that's how you make a wooden pick. Now I'm gonna pick up my crafting table. And okay. And so now before it turns okay. So there's the sun. So now I'm going to go down and mine some stone. Not that much because oh that is oh ow. That hurt. Okay then, um <laughs> I guess we might just stay here for the night. And more lag. Of course. <laughs> Half of this video is going to be me lagging. Oh, hold on a second. I am on Peaceful. Which I will be doing this t tutorial series on normal. And so, anyway. um, getting sidetracked there. That's... Oh, we can't get out now. So, I'm just going to mine some more stuff. So, mine some stone. With and stone, you can only mine stone with a pick, with, not with anything else. It's like if you use your fist, one, it takes a long time, and two, it will not drop. So, like, I'll show you what I mean. See? Now there's nothing else. Like, you can't pick, you can never get that piece back. But now right here, if I use the pick, one, it's much, one, it's much faster, and two, it drops, it drops. And there you go, you get some cobblestone. Now, 
to get cobblestone back into stone, you'll have to smelt that with a furnace, which I'll show you how to make that here in a little bit. So I guess, um, right here will be a, or no, let's get out of this little hole. I got what I wanted. Okay. And now we're off again. As long as it stops lagging. Urgh. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Okay, well. Now. Oh, wow, I'm just really going over all, all over the place. <laughs> I need to start labeling what I'm going to do in the video. Well, right now, I'm going to make a stone pickaxe. And. Oh, there you go. Well. Um, I guess I'll call it there for this video, for the moment. Um, hey, pumpkins! Yay, pumpkins! Holy cow, there's a lot of pumpkins.